In this video, we are playing a brand new game for this channel, Anime Dungeon Fighters. Now, this game is very different from the normal games I play, at least from the gameplay loop perspective. This one is a dungeon game, but everything is anime related, if, if the name of the game didn't really tell that to you. But I've seen this game on my feed every once in a while, and I've always looked at it, and I've always wanted to play it, so I finally took the time to play it, and it's pretty fun, as you're about to see. Made a massive amount of progress, but there is still a ton we can do, so so if you do enjoy this video and you do want to see more of this game, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help out the channel. But let's go ahead and get started. Now, as all games, we must always do this. And that is enter codes. Hold list them and I see which ones work. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Leopard worked. Gave us Magic Dust and Hero Dust. Aura update worked and gave us some gems. A new update also gave some gems. Same with the new hero. PvP update gave us cause coins. I think it means cosmetic. Chanting update gave some more dust. Discord gave gems and coins. Boost gift. Okay, that one's just expired. It looks like that's all the codes we have for now. Okay, these are used in the cosmetic shop, and then these are used for enchanting. Cosmetics, cosmetic shop. We have, we have, we have 200. Looks like we need 50 to do a spin. Okay. Um, sure, let's do it. Lion boots, fox hat. Uh, fox hat again, which is disappointing. We do not want to get duplicate. And lion adorn. That's a legendary. 27% chance. Well, that's not too bad. We can equip these. These give defense, health, and like, not too bad. And we also have a daily reward. There we go. Let's claim that. We got a Tanjiro hero already equipped. I'll have a bunch of gems. And I'm pretty sure I could use that over here for summoning. Yes, I can. Can't afford a whole bunch, but let's see. Uh, sand fruit epic. Okay, what's that one? Okay, that is the lowest rarity. Fox fruit legendary. Okay, that's an 8%. Oh, these have abilities. Pounce. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's summon, let's summon two more just to see. Sand fruit and sand fruit. Okay, just three sand fruits in the other one. Okay, let's go ahead and definitely equip. Oh, we'd like to assume this fruit, it'll, it'll replace your current fruit, fruit, but you'll keep its mastery. Okay, so it's a temporary. So it's, it's like a devil fruit. Okay, cool. I, I knew it was a devil fruit, but still. Hey, look, perfect. With that, if I press F, I have a different set of abilities. That's cool. So I, I, I have an ability. <laughs> we have the fox run. <laughs> Okay, well, this game's importing me towards this thing over here. So let's, let's head over there real quick. There's also soul leveling stuff, main quest. There's a, there's a lot of stuff in this game. He's going to defeat Final Valley easy. Okay, let's go ahead and accept that. This good quest. Free experience boost. Once you reach level 20, you'll be able to collect, collect one hour of times to experience for me every 20 hours. Good to know. Then we can also enchant heroes. I only have the one though right now. And looks like, yeah, there's a lot of traits. I don't think the daily reward one though is going to be worth spending money on. So let's step inside the ring and let's play the round. There's a bunch of loot we can get from this. And let's see, Final Valley easy. Still all walking around. Okay, beat him up. Let's do the punch. That did a lot of knockback. Hey, what about this ability? Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, look at that. That M1's nice too. I'm glad I got this fruit. Yes, please. And they respawn. Okay, so it's not just permanent. That was good. I'm glad we got this. Let's also go ahead and pounce this guy. How do I get you? There we go. Now I can destroy the tower too. I am so glad I got this. And now we have the boss. We can also increase stats. I don't know what I'm going to put my stats into. I'm guessing attack for now. Why not? Literally can't go wrong with that. Oh, that is so nice swapping between them two. There are different types of weapons I can use too. Like there's um guns and swords and all that. A lot of options. So it'll be interesting to see what we end up using. But all I know is I'm glad I got this fruit. This fruit insanely good we also got ourselves beginner necklace rice cakes beginner hat experience and gems okay with that we have new items uh used for hero leveling okay so that can level level of our heroes at different masteries we can unlock our fox fruit we can also unlock more abilities at different mastery levels so if we so we focus on one specific skill tree then we can then we can yeah that's nice okay and let's see our equipment so we got ourselves a necklace which gives us extra attack and critical there we go and we also have a beginner hat, which gives me a bunch of health. Let's equip that too. We also have a bunch of money. We also have more points. Okay, let's let's do this. Defense and health. So one's more health, one's more. One makes you take less damage. Okay. What does my heroes do? Hero gives me damage boost, I think. Well, I don't need more health right now. Let's just stack damage until I start taking damage and then I'll put more into health. But we can get more gloves here. We definitely want to get a glove because this would be for punching. Let's see. Beginner's glove. No, thank you. That's all the money I have. Uh, look at that difference. Definitely equipping that. So now we have more tech. Um, looks like the next quest is level 20. There's also better gloves to buy up there. Let's go ahead and claim this quest. There we go. Got ourselves a bunch of of rewards what's your next quest now we gotta do normal mode okay my little run animation when i'm slow i need level 10 for that 
And I'm guessing just because I plan to play this game a lot, let's buy a few game passes. I think I'm just going to buy these three because at least for this video, I'm going to be playing, be playing a lot of it because I want to make a lot of progress in one video. And there's also auras. Feet world one boss for a chance to get a peek. Okay, so I can get auras that can boost my stats. Nice. Well, oh my lord, yeah, these two guys died right away. Stats have increased. This is fun. I killed them so fast the game was lagging. Okay, get over here, boss man. Also, just realize they have more than one health bar, but it does not matter because I have too much damage for you. Perfect. So with that, we get some beginner boots. That's the extra. We also got a bag and more experience. Oh, we also have skill points. That means we can level up our skills. So like right now, I'm leveling up my Fox Master because I'm using Fox Master more than anything. Like getting kills with it. Like my gloves aren't being leveled up because of that, but it's just so good. It's such a strong boost. I want to keep using them. Here we go. We got some boots and this. We are set. Let's go and let's do it normal now. We have more, we have different loot here, higher rarity. Now these guys have a lot more health though, but that is fine because I'm still doing quite a bit of damage to them. Oh, we got a beginner necklace on the floor. They, they can't, they can drop loot on their own. Noted. Definitely equipping that though. Or not, it's the same thing. Okay, I want to level this up. It maxes at level one and then I can break it for gems. Okay, what is break? Okay, so that is like, it's like limit break. Okay. Use a bit of gems there, but I, that was worth experimenting. I bet that does a lot more damage now. Nope, and enemies before a boss. I also just realized this thing is timed. So I can't, I can't like take forever. It just means I got more points than a damage. Okay, and now we have a boss, but I only have a half my health for it. It should be fine because I can just dodge his attacks. Okay, so 65% of health remaining. I only have a minute remaining and like no health. I don't think I have regen, so... Come on. This is going to be so close. Just 20 seconds. 4% with 6% remaining. 2, 1, almost dead. I did that with one second remaining. That was so close. I got a plus two beginner's necklace and boots. That was pretty good. I think we have some better loot there. Here we go. Easy quest. Next, it wants me to do it on hard. It was a solo leveling thing. Let's see. Oh, we can buy swords here. Okay, some of these look kind of cool. There's better ones at higher levels too. Titles, pass wave 10, the weakest hunter of all mankind. Yeah, this is all solo leveling stuff. Cool. Okay, magic beast. Let's run this. This is probably very difficult. Yeah, let's see. Um, oh, no, they die. Okay, these, guys, these guys die fast. And they drop loot. I'm so glad I got this item. Here's level two. Here's wave 10. Okay, that, that's, that's wave 10. Oh, yeah, I got a title there. So now we have plus 20 attack. 30, we get E rank hunter. So this actually gives experience too. Okay, let's run this until we can't. I also realized that the, the, the levels for these abilities aren't based off of your actual level. It's based off of your skills, like individual levels. So I, I'm using my fist now, so I'm level five. So now I have a one speed, which is another good little punch ability. So I should probably focus on just using punches, even though like these are really powerful. So I can actually level up my stuff because this would be a permanent upgrade. And the fox is just whenever I'm using that specific fruit. That's what I think is going on, at least. And there we go. Level 30. So now we have E-Rank Hunter. Next one is Wave 50, but I don't think I can do that. Even though it's a massive increase, these guys are getting a bit too tanky for me. I'll come back here in a minute and do the rest. Well, I'm guessing let's buy a few swords and see if we can get a good one. It's not the common. Blood Sword. That's a 20%. No, that might be good enough for now. I don't want to spend all my money on this one. I'd rather try to save. That's, that's a bit better. Let's equip that. Oh, it's a nice little slash. Okay, well, let's keep bringing it normal, I guess. Oh, that is nice. I don't have as much range, I don't think, compared to the fruit for meleeing, but I think I might be crippling myself by just using the fruit. Because as soon as I swap to something else, I'll have like nothing when it comes to abilities. Now we have fastest backstab, which is actually quite good. And look at this. That is quite a bit. Wait a second. If I hold abilities, I can make him deal more damage. Okay. I wonder what the difference is. Like, yeah, that might actually be worth it. And I lost connection. Dang it. Why does it do that? I'm going to do one spin every 20 hours. I'm going to get some cosmetics, but I got something I already got previously. Oh, and I can sell these four cosmetic points. Okay, that's cool. Okay, there we go. Beat it. Did that way faster. I had like two minutes remaining. And I got some better loot now. Even got a ring. Oh, I can do hard mode now too. I, I, I don't, I'm not going to do that just yet. Normal already takes too long. I think I'm going to get level 20 first and then run it. So that way I have access to the sword, better swords. Oh, and also completed a quest. There we go. That's one of my daily quests. And you gave me the first reward on the battle pass, which I'm definitely, I don't think I'll be able to complete. And oh, I just realized I could upgrade weapons if I have more than one of them. If I upgrade you, oh yeah, you do a lot of damage. One second, let, let, let's let actually maybe summon for two more uh, blood swords. Oh, we got the epic. That does a lot of damage. I can, oh, I can also fuse items into other items. So I can like take this and fuse it to give it a bunch of more damage, but... We should be getting new items very soon. And I lost connection again. Why? Okay, there we go. We're level 20 now. 
finally let's go ahead and i have i have a bunch of money i have eleven thousand. let's spend all of that to summon here and see if we could set ourselves some good sword let's see can we get lucky okay so that, that's just a normal sword how much better is that i equip best that does not beat but it is level 20 by default plus 80 attack okay so we definitely gotta get one that's better oh there's a spell sword epic 2.5 percent yep that was definitely better 323 versus 155 that's way better i'm gonna spend the rest of our money and okay ran out well that is the best i'm guessing let's go ahead and use all of our extra items oh this cost money interesting okay well there you go let's go ahead and fuse all of those into it now it's a level 20 plus 13 so now it's dealing a bunch more damage perfect mainly doing that because I was, I was almost full on, on items from all the rounds i ran but before we run this let's actually go ahead and run the hard mode i haven't done that yet let's run the hard mode on this one easy also got ourselves a new ring for that so we got more stats okay we got basically all the max drops from that dungeon except for the hat let's go ahead and claim that and the next one which i've already done there we go wear five pieces of common equipment already did that and now now we want to do labs Oh, and because we're level 20, we got the solo leveling title. Now we, get, we, got another 50, we got another 50 attack for that. Pretty good. Yo, nice map. I like this one. This mini boss is pretty difficult, though. My low, my health is getting really low. I have not died yet, so I have no idea if I can respawn, but I am almost dead from this guy. So we're about to test that idea. There you go. Okay, that's dead. Can I use that necklace? I can. More attack and more crit. And okay, I died. What happens? Please respawn me. Oh, it takes away 60 seconds. That is painful. Well, let's see what happens if I run out of time in a dungeon. Do I still get experience or like any sort of like boost? Okay, boss time. Only have two minutes, essentially. Less time than that because I'm going to die for sure. Well, I would be able to do this if I didn't die as fast. So I probably need some kind of boost for my health now. And I ran out of time. Dang it. Okay, might be worth it now. Let's go ahead. And I'm guessing enchant this weapon one. Let's see. Iron wall one. I don't know what that does. Wish it would say, but I'm guessing that's going to be some kind of defense thing. Okay, one more reroll. Same thing. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't want to waste all of them on this weapon. Oh, wave 50 has an actual boss. Oh my gosh, it's the statue guy. That's hilarious. But wave 50 has an actual boss on the magic monsters. And it's dead. With that, we got a beginner ring and we also unlocked the new skill, which is triple a uh, three stab. Ooh, that's kind of, I guess it's kind of good. But also because now we passed wave 50, we have a new rank. We're now D rank. Leave this though, because I could actually rejoin and start at 50 now that I passed it. There's also a chance for better loot. I want that loot just not right now they can also feed the tundra Let, let's see how strong you get now level 28 looks like you gave me a pretty big damage boost actually and also a bit of health okay let's see if we can do it now now that i've leveled my stuff up okay that was way faster still took still took too much damage though i think oh and i also leveled up which reset my health so interesting and there we go yeah that, that was pretty easy okay got about level 25 and i've unlocked the ability to do this defense mode thing which i have an actual quest for this i think oh uh, not not this time i think i have a weekly maybe yeah here we go a total of 120 waves in defense mode wow these things do a lot of damage oh and they're more over here dealing damage to my thing oh yeah i can see this being pretty difficult actually and i died which ended the round that is pretty difficult i don't think i'll be able to do 120 not on my own at least also it's the next day for daily rewards so i'm splitting this video between multiple different days and i got myself a level 40 sword which just to compare this one's dealing that much this one's dealing that much okay that is actually way better uh let's go ahead and equip that oh i'm also not high enough level to even use it okay well, I didn't delete this one before I equipped it. You can't even use swords if you get them early. Okay. Box gloves. A new accessory. Well, there you go. Uh, more damage, attack, percentage. And because I have two fox items, I got plus 400 health. Perfect. We are doing good. And there we go. We defeated the normal version of this map, which means that now, now we now have access to the hard mode, which has a chance for us to get legendary loot. Claim this. Now it's hard mode time. Oh, we're also level 30 now, which is a massive boost because with that, we can finally hero summon. I don't actually know the difference between the banners. I think this is just like has every unit and then these have just the six. So I'm guessing let's summon on here. Let's do let's do 10 summons. We got legendary, a bunch of lower rarities another legendary okay so we got a, like two of the ten percent so i got heroes i got two of the same one. Oh, his stats are still lower than mine because i have this one leveled up 
Let's do another 10. Another legendary. Another legendary. And another. We got three there. And there is a pity on here. Okay, this one gives extra defense. Like, these give extra health. This, this gives extra defense. I don't actually know, like, which one would be better. Oh, that's soul leveling guy. We might actually use him just to, just because soul leveling. Okay, yeah, nothing from those again. Okay, one last one. Okay, we're full. Never mind. We can't do any more. Oh, uh, you give attack. You might actually be better because you also give 3% attack. Okay, we lose 65 health and gain 35. 30. You also have really good stats. Look at that. Is that because that I equipped you? No, that, that's just how you are. That's just a good unit. Oh, yeah. No, you're way better. Okay, let's go ahead and fuse you with all of these. We'll, we'll leave one of each of the legendaries and just scrap everything else because you are just so much better. Oh, mysterious. You got Sanji. Uh, you're actually weaker, but attack the three times. You 50% of attack. Okay, so you have like an ability. You also give loot chance instead, but you're like weaker than this. Like, did I just get lucky with this character? Like, is this character just good? This might be worth looking into. Let me let me look it up. Okay, there is a lot of information on heroes, but it looks like I'm gonna I'm gonna use Shun for now. This is good for what I'm looting, but I'm like struggling with damage, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy because he deals 4,000. I think that's much higher than even I deal myself. But yeah, you want to use this one for like if you're lacking on damage, and if you're you're wanting to get better loot, which I don't have anything that's like super low drop rates. And there's only 2%. I don't really see that as, as that big of a boost, to be fair. Okay, there we go. We are good. Got a decent collection so far. Very glad I finally got those. We also completed all the daily quests. There we go. Awesome. Okay, back to play. I'm glad I got that. We got we got young Sung Jin Woo, and then we got me, who's dressed up as the older version. But you're doing a ton of damage. Let's, let's see how well you do on hard mode. No, not too bad. Look at that. He's doing 800. But I think I might be too weak for this. I don't have the health for this. We'll come back to this later. And who I was enchanting just to get better stats. I rolled uh, the strength two on my hero, which gave 10% more. But I just rolled impact on you, which gives 7% attack weapon attack. Ooh, that's a 2.5% chance. Very nice. Now let's try to get stuff just to help boost my stats. And there we go. We got level 80 or, or wave 80. So now I'm a C rank hunter. If I get 20 more waves, I get another 200 damage. No, it's also going to be a boss. I realized, okay, I can't go any further. If there's anything like wave 50. Now we also completed this quest. 2,000 enemies. Awesome. But it's nice to rank up again, technically. Literally any damage increase is heavily helpful for my current level. And hey, this, this person's doing the hard mode. So if I play with this guy, I should be able to beat it. Oh, nice. We got a, we got an epic drop. Definitely equip that. Need more defense. Literally, if either one of us die, we lose. There we go. Awesome. And with that, we get a bunch of loot. Yeah, definitely not running that again. <laughs> I'm not anywhere near strong enough. Also, that guy was using guns and he was able to deal damage without getting near the boss. I think I might swap over to a gun from now on. Technically a bad idea because I'm fully resetting my gear, but there we go. We got an epic. Because like, look at, look at that difference. It is so much less damage. 600 less, but I can hit from a range. I have like a Gatling gun too. Nice, he also completed this quest. And now we now he wants me to do the village once level 40. I'll eventually get to that. But the fact that the, ra the ra range weapon might be better for me though. Also, while, while I was looking up companions, just quickly do the 100 summons for this. But while I was doing that, I learned that the love fruit, this one right here is the best one of the mysteriouses. So I'm gonna go ahead and from now on, I need 300 per. That is expensive, but I'm guessing I'm gonna dump the rest of my stuff for now into this and hopefully try to get a love fruit because apparently it's the best one i'm ready to fight okay i've used guns for one round now and they're infinitely better screwed up for the entire like first 20 minutes of this video or however long it's been i've edited none of it so far yeah guns are the way to go okay <laughs> it's so much better i can kind of see the, I, I, i'm gonna focus on using guns by themselves but i can definitely see having a fruit to hit more than one enemy like this is necessary because guns can only really hit one enemy at a time unless they're like right on top of each other unless you have like this ability which is literally a grenade. Yes, no, guns are way better. Finally, like two hours later, practically, probably a lot less than that, but it's felt like two hours. I got two legendary of gear out of the uh, five possible and we level 40. So let's go ahead and we're doing really good. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a new weapon from this shop. I have 139,000 coins for this. So I'm hoping to get three of these or maybe one of these. If I could like level this one up. That's why I want three. And I'm my bag's full. Dang it! Oh, I was hoping I, I was hoping it would let me summon. I wasn't thinking. I forgot that weapons are included in this menu. How much is it for inventory space? Let me pay for this. How? It's only 200 robux. I have a lot of robux. It's 10 slots. I got scammed. Yeah, well, it's better than nothing, I guess. Let's see if you get lucky with at least one of them. 
so I can dump it into a good weapon without wasting the experience. Not, not going well. They're still worse than my current weapon. My, I'm not being lucky. This is not good. I guess I don't take this opportunity to try something out because I can keep getting this one weapon. Fuse all of those and then fuse them again. I can only do it once. Well, it's better now. I have that going for me at least. Okay, yeah, I literally only got the common. I don't know how that happened. Well, I'll just fuse everything else into it. There we go. Well, it's much stronger than what I had before, so better than nothing. I lose 10,000 critical though, because I had a really good trade on that last weapon. Ooh, there's four difficulties on this one. Probably too many people in this for our first attempt, but I shoot fast, so... Oh, there's level 82 in here, so we're getting carried. This is an interesting map. There's another set of enemies back there that we just skipped. I wonder what they give if you were to fight them. Also, this guy's very powerful. <laughs> oh, and we just won. I didn't even participate. Cool. Loots! Free loots. Well, I completed this teamwork quest and the daily quest and, and this quest because of that. So there we go. Okay, I want to go run this money dungeon thing. Oh, okay, I see. So I have 12 minutes to defeat as many of these as I can. These small boxes give 120 coins. Oh, this one has 400 health. How much does this big one give? This is almost dead for some reason. Oh, 60k. Ooh, I like that one. So I got 73,000 for that. That's actually quite, that's quite a lot. That's 73 guns that are potentially the one I need. I need six more though of the, of the epic. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted. I haven't got a single one, the one I actually wanted yet. Um, is it bad that it's actually just better than the other two weapons I have? By default, uh, that was probably a bad idea to start summoning over here. I'm going to keep running through my money, and if I don't get, like, three... Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? Okay. I think I mean, I'm a... I'm forced now to get a third. God, be kidding. I'm actually just mad that I got two of them, because now I have to try to get a third. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that's annoying. I didn't get a single one of these weapons. This is one I actually want to get. Oh, it actually says that's my best weapon now. It overrode this. I wonder if it's doing that because of rarity. That's gotta be it. That is, do that is doing more damage. Hey, let's go. I just got a third. Okay, let's go ahead and put you together. Right now, you're dealing 581. Put you all together. 929. Yeah, that's way better. That's like leagues better. I don't even really think I need to summon anymore for the for the spells. I got one extra, but I, there's no way this one's gonna beat this one at this rate. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're, we're leaving it at that. Let, let's, let's roll trade on it. Enchant this darn thing. Identify weakness one. Wait a second, is that the one I had before? Oh, yes, I got the 10K. I don't even know if that's really good or not, but like it kept forcing it last time. So I got the thing I had before. So I literally just got the same weapon, but upgraded, cool. Yeah, we're just gonna chill with this. There we go. This thing's gonna do a ton of damage. I mean, just look how good the guns are. Like, look at this. This class is so much better. And easy floor 100. With that, we have the new title B rank hunter. I don't think I can make it much further though. So judging by how much damage I'm dealing, I'll do the rest of this later. It's also a checkpoint, which is nice. Okay, level 43 now. So we have access to the normal mode, which has higher rarity items. I've been shredding through easy because of the new gun. So this, this shouldn't be too bad. I mean, look at that. Shredded that boss easily. I did also unlock a new skill, this Flame Pillar ability, which is basically the minigun, but much lower range, but hits everything in front of me instead of just one enemy. So it's quite nice. Cooldown's long, though, so I can only really use it like once per section. Easy clear. Also another quest done because of that. Now it wants us to do the hard one. Well, time to level up to level 46. Okay, I was summoning on new weapons and I managed to get the legendary from the 4K, the level 40 shop. But it's still technically weaker than this one. Like the damage is still a little less. I, I can level it up pretty easily if I want the damage to pass, but I definitely need to try to get two more of those. No, it's like a treasure one. That gives, that, that gives extra loot. That might be worth it. Yeah, let, let's leave that on there. And I just fuse all things into it. So I gain 1,000 damage with a new weapon, but I lose the critical. I actually don't even know if critical is good or not. So let's run around without critical and see if I'm just imagining things or if critical is actually the reason why I'm doing so well. Oh, yeah, look at that damage. Okay, yeah, th yeah this is this is perfectly fine. Oh, yeah, no, this is perfectly fine. Okay, critical just wasn't doing anything, I guess. Or maybe it was. I just, this damn, this gun's so much better that it doesn't matter that I lost it. Oh, let's go. He's got a love fruit. That just saved me 20,000 gems on the long term. Awesome. I'm not going to do any more summoning on this. I'm going to focus on champions because I want to try to get an immortal. Speaking of which, let's, let's do quick 10. I just want to see. Oh, we just got a mysterious Usopp. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I did. What does, what does Usopp do? You give attack damage. You're still weaker than you, though, so you're just not worth using. These poor One Piece characters getting completely destroyed in the stat department compared to a solo leveling guy. Very cool. We get an immortal and eventually, but hey, we managed to get the love fruit, which I'm going to go ahead and equip because there's no trading in this game. So it's not like I can like trade it for something. So this is apparently supposed to be like really, really good. 
So use that. So the reason why it's supposed to be good is because look at this. It's a ranged weapon. Just like, it's basically the gun is a gun. And then I have these attacks, which I'll unlock eventually. I'm not, I'm not going to focus on it just yet, but the fact that I have it is amazing. Oh, we can do hard mode now. Let's see how difficult this is. Easy. There we go. Yeah, no, me getting legendary guns and just using guns has been so much better than anything I was doing beforehand. Now we have to do hell difficulty. That sounds fun. We can do that level 49. Okay, 49. Let's go to hell now. The whole new rarity here. I think that's like mythics or whatever. Or maybe it's mysterious, actually. We have mysterious gear in here. And then legendaries, which are going to be pretty easy to get, hopefully. But I'm so glad I got love fruit. I've been using it passively. And it's level 18 now. But look at this. If I use the ability on all these soldiers right here, look at their health. Look at how much that does. And it's instant. And at least on the hard difficulty, it was doing like 10% of that boss's health whenever I fought a boss. There we go, finally. That took two attempts. And on the second attempt, looks like I got three legendaries total. Look at that. Bunch of, bunch of stat increases there. 6,000 more health. Perfect. I definitely needed that. I was struggling. And we also got this quest done for having five legendary items. Awesome. We also finished this quest. And all the main quests have been completed, so I ran out. I know there's more worlds. I look at the teleport menu. Yeah, level 60 unlocks me world two. There's three worlds in total and there's a PVP area. So we're doing good. And hey, attempting this again and just past wave 130. So I got a rank hunter now. Mainly doing this because I need more damage. Or I feel like I do at least. There we go. Okay, if I make it another 20 waves to get another 200, let, let's do it. Okay, time for wave 150. He has 1 million health because of course he does. Well, on the bright side, I've been using the love fruit in this and it is actually really, really good. It has a lot more range than my gun and it does more damage, at least per shot. It shoots slower, but the abilities are also better. What the heck? He's stuck. You know what? I'm all for this. I managed to get him stuck somehow. Perfectly fine with this outcome. My goodness, that was a lot of damage. But victory is ours. We are now an S rank hunter. Perfect. Very happy with that. Oh my good. Wait one second. Look at this. So I just got myself the last two legendary pieces. So I have all 10. Look at the pluses it gives me when I equip both of them. Look at that. That is huge. I'm so happy with that. I haven't looked at this in a while, but like we have like almost 10,000 critical, which is what that thing was giving me. That enchant that I no longer have. And then we have all these stats. We're doing so good. I'm so happy. And oh, look at that. My first ever mysterious item. 20,000 more health. Of course. That's awesome. Also, heck yeah finally got two more of these things so we can go ahead and upgrade this weapon which is gonna make me deal a lot more damage nice finally okay cool so now that we've done that i think i'm done summoning for guns now now that i have an upgraded version i do not think i'll be able to get another six so i'll start saving money for world two let's get we, we have to get eight more levels for that though oh i got a pistol cosmetic oh that also goes on a slot nice got myself a custom gun now and a huge amount of time later. And I've been doing the auto fight function, which I haven't really done a lot this video. I've been playing mostly on my own. But I was AFKing using guns so that way I can level up the mastery with it, which I'm at level 49 right now. So I did earn one new ability, which is this poison grenade. Or that wasn't the poison grenade. This is the poison grenade, which does a ton of damage. Oh yeah, we also maxed out the mastery on the love fruit. So I have this ability now too, which at the end of it grabs the enemies that are underneath it. So that is also really, really good but we're level 62 now so we've unlocked world 2 so we're done with this world i only need level 60 but i just let it keep running but not only that by the way just let you know auto uh, the auto attack is so good the auto fight i love it but i have a full set of mysterious gear almost all all the, all the way up to level 40 on the plus only two of them are below that but let's head to world 2 just to check it out it has, it has an animation of the ship leaving too that's that's really cool takes us to a whole new world with new people of a higher level. And this is where we're going to end. I already spent a bunch of time. My total play stats, if you want to see, is 17 hours and 13 minutes. So not a full 24, but this I I've, I've edited the entire video before this point. And it is a getting kind of long. So let's end it off by doing some cosmetic shop things because I got the next daily so I can get six summons from the shop. So let's see if we get lucky. Uh, nope. Nope. Unlucky. Almost got the solo hair. Unlucky. And for the last one I can do for a while. Uh, unlucky. Very unlucky. And my lord, it looks like this area goes to level 140. World 2 is going to take me a while.